Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then we have almost completed all the activities on requisitions. We'll be again coming back to requisition actually after some time. So now we are now jumping into the purchase order part for which the first activity is to create a supplier actually. Supplier creation, the first activity, we'll now go there and then create a supplier actually. So we know we are going to create a supplier actually. So now what I do is I will now go to the task and then click on it. <clears throat> and then we are going to set up the person who is going to approve it and click on it. We'll now go to the setup and maintenance. And then we are going to set up who is going to approve the per supplier creation actually. Now we are into supplier creation of angle account. We'll now click on it. <clears throat> we'll now go to the search. So manage my supplier percentage my APP percentage. So manage supplier approvals. So manage internal supplier profile change approvals. And I'm going to click on it. I will now say we have got three employees, EMP1, EMP2, and EMP3. I will now say EMP2. Now EMP1 is creating it. I will now say EMP2 has to approve. You can put anybody, whatever you want. Manage internal supplier profile change approvals is the one. So here nothing is enabled. So I will now, what happens is choose the serial approval in the bottom now. In the bottom. Normally we use serial approvals. Click on, click on edit rows. <clears throat> I will now click on plus no. Fine. We are going to put approval. Fine. Fine. Approval by EMP2. Fine. So give a meaningful name so that you can understand at any point in time who is going to approve and all. Paste it. And then I will now say rule always applies. It doesn't matter. Fine. Because I click on OK. No conditions at all. And then at the bottom, what happens? Add action. I will now say approval required by a single approver who is going to be a worker now. Fine. The name is what? Worker. And then go there. So EMP2 is the one point. EMP2 and comma space P01 underscore. The last name, comma, first name, that is the way you have to write. Right. And then click on OK. By which what happens? Now, whenever you are creating a supplier, EMP2 has to approve it. So we are now given what? This one now. Internal supplier profile change approvals. So we are now given it up. I click on it. And then click on save. <laughs> you must you must enter at least one condition of oh God. Condition is a must actually from the point. I will now click on edit. No, edit. Uh, what happens? I have not. Rule always applies. I have forgotten to put. Otherwise, the condition is required. No, click on it. So, no condition is required. Rule always applies. No, click on it. no condition is required. So, we are now bypass the condition. Otherwise, we have to give a condition also as per the need now. So, click on save. <clears throat> so, click on deploy. So, we are now deploying it. I go that on. So, EMP2 has to approve whenever you are creating a supplier action. So, click on OK now. Click on that. And then whenever you make such major changes, have a habit of what? Logging out and logging in. So click on that. And then log out and log in. Sign out and sign in. So click on confirm. You're not signing in. So go inside now. Fine. You're not signing in. So the profile supplier, I go there. I will now go to the procurement. And then now, what happens? You go to the supplier. So I click on the supplier. And then I'm going to create a supplier actually. So click on it. And then click on create supplier. So click on create supplier. So I will now say it's a P01 underscore sub underscore one. So the business classification is what? Spend authorized. If we spend authorized, we can very well put on a purchase orders. Whereas prospective, we can only send up the RFQs and quotes to him. We cannot send a purchase order at all. So I'm now making it as a spend authorization. So the tax organizations corporation, the remaining are not mandatory. If uh, payables is creating it, they will now fill up everything. You are creating it from um, on the supply chain side. What about this much is sufficient for creating a supplier actually? And click on create. So P01 sub contract, click on create. In fact, what happens only the payable stream will be creating it because they are going to pay now. And so they will only be doing it. <clears throat> Once. So now, once uh, So now it has come over here. Right? The name is come over So we are now coming to the main area actually. So here, what happens? You go to the payments area. Fine. The business classification you can go on and give it. Thank you on the business classification. We can say what type of good actions and good add. So we are going to add a business classification person. We'll drop it down. We'll also say uh, is a woman who would thank you And then give us say. So we can add the business classification for the supplier. Actually, I confirm the accuracy of the new updated. Fine, click on confirm. 
business classification and think on some. And then what are the products and services which the supplier is going to go find? Click on the products and services and then go there, click on actions and then click on self map. So we'll be having very many ready made. Right? He is now going computer supplies. Right? So computer supplies is one. And then what about the printers also you're now giving it. So whatever he is going to supply, you're not going to add everything. Now, if I click on it, click on apply, and then click on OK. So the products and services are added, actually. Right? These are all. And then transactional tax and income tax will be given by the AP team. And then go to the payment stamp, and then make one of the payments as a default payment. Mm -hmm. So we normally make check as a default payment because the system has been configured fully for check payment, actually. And then for other payments, what happens? You talk to the payables team. Because we are now going to make a push into the payables also. So for which what happens, you make check as a payment, it will be working perfectly actually. For other payments, what happens, uh, CHG check, mm -hmm. check, CHG check, and click on it, and then make it as the default. So this has been fully configured in the vision instance. For other ones, what happens, we have to take the help of pay, uh, payables team to do it now. So tomorrow or after uh, after some three or four classes, when we are pushing it to payables, uh, we have to make a payment also. Invoice and payments, we have to make it. So this will be a handy you now. Click on it. No. Go there, click on it. And then give a same. So on the main area, we are given the profiles basically. The profiles are being given up in the payment terms, the organization, by the business classification, product services, and payments. Now, now what happens? You go there, you go to what the address. No, you have saved it. And then when you keep on doing it, I save it. No, and then go to the address. And then here, what happens? You go there, click on it. We are going to create address. So I click on plus, and then now create address. Actually. <clears throat> so the first address I'm going to get from address is what P01. Address one. No. Address one. So address one, I'm creating it. So I will not say what happens. Line one, find P01, find address line one. Okay. And then the postal code is what? 10020, and then give it app. So we're giving it up. I will not choose new organ of fact. Okay. You're not given by that. So everything has been given. And then make it ordering. Now. Ordering is mainly purchase orders. Remit two is for payables. So a particular address will be enabled for both purchasing and payables basically. It will be enabled. And then email is what I go there. So P01. Underscore what happens? I will not say sub one at the gmail.com. It will be a real address actually. So, but since we are now doing a training, don't give a real address. Otherwise, what happens? Oracle will now give a query. Oh, who is this guy? How oh, we can access this instance and all? So many queries will be coming. You find don't put your email in and then get a, end the problems actually. So, put a dummy email up. So, go there. So, click on save. So, click on save. By which what happens? It is now saved actually. You know, save. So, the address is now saved. And then what happens? You go there. So, once the address is saved, Right. You're not doing the minimum on the hang of it. So, go there. so click on it, click on save and close. The address is not fine. Click on save and close. So, once we give a save and close, we come to the main area now. Right? So, there, what happens? Again, give a save and close. So, give a save and close. So, click on save and close, by which what happens? It is now getting saved. Now, now what happens? If you go on then in the main area, fine, again, come back to the or you can even refresh now. Fine. Click on refresh the main area overview page. And then the bottom, what happens? You know, see. Uh, you will be getting your this thing coming over here. No, click on it. No, it's not coming actually. Uh, uh, what about suppliers with incomplete setup? So no address, there's no contacts there. Uh, it is not, it, these are all the problematic areas. No, I'm not saying mm -hmm. supply profile change request approvals. Mm -hmm. Supply profile change request pending approval actually. What I do is I will know what happens when you go there. Go to the home icon, fine, click on the home icon. Mm -hmm. And then there, what happens when you go there? Oh God, I made a mistake actually. I made a mistake actually. I once again. I have not enabled this now. <laughs> you go to the setup and witness. I made one mistake actually. So that is why it has not gone for approval at all. Fine, click on it. I made a mistake. Fine, click on it. So click on search. No, fine, click on search. And then go to the manage. Fine. I will not say supplier. Fine, percentage APP percentage. So here I have not enabled it. Fine, go to the manage internal supply profile changes. Fine, click on it. I have not enabled. So go there. So in the serial approval, I have already configured, but I have not enabled it. So it has not gone for approval at all. Fine, click on it. It's not gone for approval. So what I have to do is have to department with console. I have to enable this now. I have not enabled it. So this is now enabled actually. Now click on that and then what happens? The log out and login and then you'll now create another supplier. Right? Click on that. You know, what happens? The create another supplier. So click on it and then here what happens? They go there. Click on sign out. Sign out and then click on confirm and then here what happens? They go to do it again. We'll now create one more supplier actually. <laughs> so go there. Click on it. Now go there. Create a supplier. And go to the procurement now and go to the procurement. Go to the procurement and go to that account. And then go to the procurement. And then here I'll go to the suppliers. Now click on suppliers. Suppliers man go there, click on it. And then here what about you'll go to the supplier now? So uh one supplier new create supplier. Fine. Click on the create supplier. So I will not get the second supplier actually. P01 underscore sub underscore two. I'm not creating it. So business relationship is what spend authorized and then tax organization is going to be corporation now. I click on create. Now 
what I'm saying. It has to go to approval for EMP2 actually. And then we had to give the business classification process because I'm not doing it fine already. She need to, but how to do it now? So you don't know any functionality, but it'll now indicate to you. And go to the payments and then make the check payment or the default payment of my check payment. And then what happens? Put a tick mark on this map and click on tick mark. And then what happens? Give a save. And then you go to the address part. You go to the, so give a save. So there's no save now. And then I go to the address now. I click on the address. 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 Now go there. So address is what? P01 underscore sub underscore two now. Right? Is the address. So give the appropriate address. My address line is what? P01. Fine. Let me say address uh, two line one something I'm giving you fine, for my reference. In the postal code, all happens. I go there 10020 and then give it a tap. We are choosing the new or fine. Click on OK. Now, fine. Click on OK. <clears throat> and then click on OK. Now, fine. Now, so all these things are now given. Fine. So I have no ordering and remit to find enabling it. Fine. Fine. And then email to what? I will now say P01 underscore sub2 at the rate gmail.com. So everything is over. Fine. So click on save and close now by which the address is now given. So normally what happens under submission, what happens is you'll be getting a submit icon actually. A submit icon, submit button will be coming. So you're not coming. After giving the profile and address, what happens since it has to be get approved, fine. You will be getting a submit icon. Fine. Click on save and close. Now here, this is look go to approval now. Fine. Click on refresh the main screen click on refresh. And now see the bottom, what happens? You'll be having one thing has been sent to approval now. Supplier profile change request pending approval. Oh God, it's not coming at all. Uh, I will not log out and log in if I can see if I can. There may be some mistakes actually. If I click on sign out and sign in, I don't know why it's not going there at all. To approval. It will normally be going for approval and then it will be coming back. Fine. Some mistake I made. I'm not exactly understanding it. Fine. I've enabled the serial also <clears throat> and then I've done it instead of the, I will not go to the procurement and then I go to the suppliers. Now I click on suppliers and how. So go there. And then here in the bottom, what happens? You'll not get what happens. The supplier, supplier profile changes requesting pending approval will be coming over here. Oh God, it's not coming. Some mistake I made. Now, fine. now go the right click and then duplicate. Now, now I'll go it again. Hmm. It's called internal profile change approval. Now I click on it. So there may be some profile option also will be there. Now I click on it. Now, now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> and then I go to the actions and then here I go to the offerings. Now I'll see whether anything, any profiling is there or not. I'm not very sure about it. Forgotten actually. So something might have got changed, but I was which I'm not remembering it. Somebody make an R&D, but why is not going for approval actually? Or I can go to the procurement and click on the procurement. And then here, whatever they go to the opt-in futures, not click on the opt-in futures. Anything is there on the supplier or not, we'll now make a check. So click on the opt-in features. <clears throat> then there, what happens? You don't see whether anything, any entry is there for supplier, supplier or not. That may be something which is uh, which has to be enabled. Like, you know, suppliers, you click on it. I will not click on the futures. No, I click on the suppliers futures. No, I click on the suppliers futures. Suppliers futures. We will not see whether the, for the approvals, anything has to be enabled or not. I am not very sure about it. something. You know. I'll approve internal change order approval. So I, I approve internal changes on supplier profile and click on edit now and click on enable. So click on edit and then we had to enable edit. Uh, future I approve internal change. I will not say the address we are doing now. Fine. So we can even enable it for very many reasons. Okay, now on the address, I'm not doing it now. And this has to be enabled. That's the reason that is not coming. Fine. Click on seven plus. Forgotten. Buddha over here. Fine. I'm forgetting it. So on the addresses, what happens? We are enabling the approval actually. So, the, so click on done now, fine, click on done. <clears throat> now, now uh, what happens, so close it and again create another supplier actually. So approve internal change approvals on supplier profile is the one which you had to enable for anything, sites or uh, bank accounts or whatever you want, you can enable the approvals actually. <clears throat> Bulgi actually, I forgot to make. So click on the now. So it is now done. So on the futures and options, what happens, we are now enabled it. So now you will now log out and log in and again create the third supplier actually. Like a Gajini Mumode, what happens? We are not doing it again and again. Now click on it. So go click on it. Click on that. Click on it. I'll now log out and log in. So whenever you make any major changes, have a habit of logging out and logging in. So that what happens? It will be reflecting exactly. Sign out and sign. Out. So click on confirm. 
go there. So I click on sign in. So now what happens? You go to the procurement and then now this time will not get a supplier. So click on supply. This will now go to approval. EAP2, it has to go for approval. So click on create supply. So it has to go to EMP2 for approval. P01, P01 sub underscore three now. And then go that is spend authorized tax corporation of bank on create. Now we are creating it. Sub three, we are creating it. For the addresses, we need an approval. We can even do it for sites also on the bank accounts. So, so many things that are showing up. So accordingly do it and then you go to the payments and then have a habit of giving what happens the check payment because later on once when you push it to payables we are going to make a payment also fine this is defaultly set actually in the vision actually otherwise you have to take the help of people for other payment methods actually uh, financial teams help is required thank you see now a submit button is coming there is what is a submit button will be coming previously in submit button is not coming go to the address and then click on plus so once when you submit it then it will go for approval address now so p01 you know say Address find uh, three I don't know. country is what I don't know. Say United States, United States is a country, two the United States is a country, and, so on. and then go there. Here, what are the postal code is what one zero zero two zero. I don't know. Give it up now, friends. What is and then uh, two the New York find that what in reality will be very correct. That's fine. That's fine. I don't say P01 find address three and, so and then enable the ordering and revert to and click on it. Ordering and revert to and so everything is done. And so click on save and close and then finally submit. So click on seven. And then once when you submit it, it will now go to EMP2 for approval actually. It is not done. So the address is now created, the profile is created. On the address, we are now enabled approval. No? Fine. On the bank address or sites or something like that, there are four options are given. So whichever you want an approval, you can even enable this. So click on seven. So by submitting it, what happens? It will now go for approval actually. Click on internal profile change request are submitted for approval. It contains the changes that requires approval. So click on okay. And then if you click on refresh, it will now show on the bottom. Go that on the bottom one of the no show. Then what was uh, Supplier with incomplete setup. So supplier or uh, supplier profile change request pending approval. Now click on it. You go there and see. Here what happens? There is a pending request. So if you click on the request, now click on the request. Find the sub three. Then click on the request number. Then click on it. It's now pending with whom? It will not say. It's now requested by EMP two. Fine go there. So go there. So if you click on the submit button, it will not say it has been submitted to whom for approval actually. If you click on submit, it will not say to whom. Now it has been submitted to EMP two for approval actually. Go there. Well, now what happens is login as EMP2 on another browser. Now, if I click on it, now we'll go to the home and that will not work. So, if you enable nothing, then it will not go for approval at all. So, take off it. Click on it. Then paste it now. So, go there, click on it. And I will not log in as EMP2 now. I click on it. No log in as EMP2. So, click on sign in now. I click on sign in. No sign in. And then go there. So click on the bell icon on the right hand side top. You'll be getting a notification that he has dropped. Click on you know, action required for supply profile change request. Fine, you click on it. And then he'll know what happens. Look at the entire profile that does nothing. So then he'll now finally approve it. So the address is the address needs approval actually. So you'll now click on this one and then ordering and remit to it has been created actually. So the thing is to be declared actually. So he will now finally, after looking over the thing, find the spend authorized the supplier. Right? You will now click on approve. So click on approve. So by approving it, whatever it will be communicated to our system of the EMP1 that has been approved now. So you will now go there, click on it. Now go to the main place, and then whatever you go there, click on done now. So click on done. And then refresh it now. Click on refresh it. So click on refresh. And then the bottom, whatever you can have a look at the again now. So click on the request number, fine. Click on you can now see a green tick will be there on this now. Fine. If you click on the submit button, click on the submit button. So now approve has happened now. So approve is If you click on the submit, whatever you can now see a green tick mark coming on this one. So a green tick mark, a tick mark is coming. So EMP2 is approved, and then one of the docs completed the approval. Now we can go ahead and then create the supplier actually. So it's not done. So click on that. And then here, if you click on refresh, now fine. Now incomplete setups will not be there at all. And the incomplete setup, supplier incomplete, the sub three is gone now. And then what happens? The supplier is changing profile change request is also gone actually. Fine. Pending request is also gone. Fine. So we are fortunate enough to what happens. They look at it now. Fine. Before it goes away, we have seen it actually. Supplier profile change request pending approval. Now what happens? You go there and then we will not go to the manage suppliers and then we will not go to the supplier. We will not go to the what? Manage suppliers. Manage suppliers. Manage suppliers. Well, in the create suppliers, no, in the top we have a manage supplier. Fine. Click on the manage suppliers and then we will not query for this. We will not P01 entering. So if you enter in, what happens? You will not see all the three suppliers. 
So one and two was already approved because it's not gone for approval. The third has gone for approval and then it doesn't go. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it and then it's got approved. So click on the hyperlink and then what happens? You go to the site. So to create a site, you must be uh, what happens? A procurement agent. Only procurement agents are enable, eligible for site actually. So we will not make this employee yourself as a buyer actually. But normally what happens? They will be having a different buyer. So only procurement agents are eligible for making a site actually. So go there. Now you will not make this employee itself as a what happens? A procurement agent. In reality, what happens? It won't be. He is a mechanical department man or an electrical department man. And so what happens? He won't be even creating a supplier also fine. So only those who are having a procurement agent, only who are a buyer actually fine. Manage percentage fine. Procurement percentage fine. Agent percentage. So only procurement agents are basically authorized to create a site actually. So you will not make him as a procurement agent. Fine. Whomsoever you want in the field, accordingly do it. Now I click on plus one. So EMT one itself, I am going to make it as a procurement agent. Now I click on it. The procurement BU is what? P01. I will not put the P01. Fine. So agent name is what? EMP1. Fine. Comma P01 underscore. Is the last name, comma first name. There is a way you have to write it now. Fine. So agent name is what? EMP1. Come on, not coming. Uh, EMP1. <clears throat> P01 is there, something like that. Come on. <clears throat> Why is not coming? He must be able to, what I must make him as a what? Procurement agent, actually. <clears throat> I'm gonna say P01. So it's coming, okay, fine. No, it's not coming in the reverse manner. <laughs> first name, come on, last name. So previously, what happens? It was coming as a last name, come on, first name. Now, what happens? For the agent name, it is now coming as a first name, come on, last name. Oh, God. <laughs> so we have to remember so many things. I click on drop it down and make it something like that. And then go there. And then we will now have give him access to other agents' documents. So I go there. I will now give him full access. So, go there. so he can very well access the other agents' document. Other because in a company we will not have very many purchase offices. So everybody can access each other's document actually. Give a full access to all other agents' documents. Thank you for So now he has made as a, what happens a procurement agent. So he can very well create a site actually. For site creation, the employee must be a procurement agent actually. Or Whomsoever is a procurement agent can only create a site actually. And then go there. Here, what happens? You give it done and then come out of it. There's not coming. The plus symbol is not coming. So we'll now make a search again. I click on the search again. And then go there. And then click on the hyperlink of it. Now click on the hyperlink of it. And then when you go to the site, you'll now get a site. When you go to the site, what happens? You'll be getting a plus symbol. So the plus symbol will be coming. Oh God, it's not coming. So that means what? We have to log out and log in. So when a plus symbol is still not coming, what happens? It is not registered actually. If I click on the now. And then log out and log in. For some of the major changes to take effect, what happens if we had to log out and log in? Fine, sign out and sign in. So then only what happens? The changes will be sensed by the system actually. So click on it and then we'll now sign in. <clears throat> no signing in. Go to the procurement and then you go to the suppliers. Now click on the suppliers. <clears throat> so click on it and then go there. I go to the managed suppliers. Now I click on the managed suppliers. And then I will now query for the P01. Fine. And then click on search. Now click on search. <laughs> We have to go to the third supplier and click on third supplier. And then if you go to the site, we'll go back on it. The plus has to come now. Sub three, the site, the plus symbol has to come. Because it is already what I was approved now. Fine. And then you are already a procurement agent actually. You are now logging in with what? And now right click and then duplicate now. Duplicate. Now logging is only EMP1 now. EMP1. P01 EMP1 only. Last name, last name is coming. So in this place, what happens? The site creation button has to come up. So, first of all, you know, go to the contacts and then create the contact. And afterwards, you know, come over here. The, oh, God, I made a mistake now. So, only when you bring it to the edit mode, what happens? The plus symbol will be coming. So, the supplier will only be viewing it actually. So, bring it to the edit mode and then it is the top. Once when you bring it to the edit mode, what happens? You will not see the plus. Previously, what happened? The plus symbol will be grayed out. Fine, I am unable to show it to you. Fine, I forgot to read actually. I click on the contacts. So if you see it, what happens? The plus symbol will be greater. Right? In the contacts, we go there first of all, create a contact actually. I click on the contact. And then you go there, click on the contact. After creating the contact, come to the site now. I will not say Ananta. Ananta 1. And then Nana 1. Ananta 1, Nana 1. So go there. I will now put what? A1 uh, dot N1. Fine. At the rate gmail.com. Giving enough of the giving enough of so go there in the place. What happens in the contact address? Good actions and go to select. I will not say in which address he is situated. Right? That we have got only one address. Make it on apply and click on that. So this contact is now sitting in his address actually. So the contact is created and then he is sitting in which address we are not factoring my seven close. Seven close is not done. So we are not on the seven close. No fact on. So seven close is not done. Fine. Now what happens? You come to the site area. I click on the site. Area. So it must be in the edit mode actually. So click on plus. So click on plus and then go there. We 
you're not going to get a site actually. So after the profile address and then site contacts, then you go down and then choose the address, the only address. The address gets duplicated on the site. We'll not change the site name to what site. We can make a, we can make a change on the site also. Is okay, purchasing and pay is okay. So now, once when you give a save, the remaining tab regions will be getting on now. Fine. So click on save. At this stage, you give a save now. Fine. The remaining tab regions will be given. Now you go to the purchasing. We'll be having a look at it a bit later. Now. Fine. The purchasing, the whole region will be having a look at it. Fine. They are having a VMI activity and then a consigned activity. And then what happens? So many things are there. And then we will now have a look at it a bit later. Fine. And then we go to the invoicing area. Here, what happens? You go to the invoicing area. And then choose the currency as US dollars. And then go to the payment currency and then drop it down and then choose the US dollars and then afterwards what happens? You go to the site assignments directly. So the invoice currency and payment currency are set for the supplier. Then go to the site assignments and then here what happens? You go there. Click on auto create assignments. Automatically it will now create assignment for this. The bill to also P01. Right? The same BU you are now going to put in. So go there, drop it down and then choose it. Now click on it. Click on search. So click on search. So it is not coming because what happens? The payables is not enabled at all. Fine, there is a must now. I forgot it actually. Fine. Good. Then there's no throne. Fine. So we are not enabled the payables for this uh, uh, business unit. I click on set on set up on We had enabled the payables actually. Click on close. Fine. What? I will not go there. So here, what happens? I will not go to the financials. Now I click on. So if you don't enable the payables functionality, we cannot. What happens? Send it to payables at all. I will not go to what? Assign. Assign percentage. Fine. Buzi percentage. Buzi percentage. You go to the assign busy busy for your business unit. Fine. The business scope is already there. And click on the assign business unit. So the payables functionality must be enabled. So they are all modular in nature. At any point in time, you can enable everything. So what the requisitioning and receiving is mainly for what is for the client functionality, the client which needs the material. The procurement is a service provider functionality which makes the purchase order. This is for item creation as well as all the inventory activities. Now, what happens? You go there. In the bottom will be having payables. So payables invoicing and payables payment, if you made a bit, then what happens? Uh, we can even send it to the payables actually. Fine, we are enabled these two things. Likewise, we, any functionality, we can add it modularly. Fine, click on save and close. Now it is added. Now. Fine, click on okay. A warning is coming. You can now say cheapo to the warning now. It doesn't matter. So go to the good place. Fine, that. Now it dropped down and choose it. The bill to the Now it's coming. See? The payment is now coming. The list of health issues. The shipped location is what? P01. I will not say one default location is appearing. And I will not say log. So the built location is also what we do. We are not giving it up. I click on it. No, go there. Lock one. No, it is not done. <clears throat> right. It's all done. So the remaining will be all be done by the payables department. The withholding tax, liability, payment distribution, everything and all. They will all be doing it. Up. It is not our headache actually. And they will move it. So with which what happens? Give a seven close. And then what happens? It is not coming. Click on seven close. It is not come to this area. Click on it. It's not done. You know, so, you know, so profile, address, contacts and site. And then the qualification will be seeing at supplier qualification training. And then one of them see. So at this stage, we are going to submit now. Fine. P01 sub 3. You click on submit now and submit button is coming. So if you have a site approval, also it will be going for approval. We are not set the approval. Fine. Click on submit. It will not be going for approval. Now. The change is the same. That's all. Thing. So click on search now. Fine. The change is the same. So now what happens is no ready. Now we are in a position to create a purchase order, actually. We are now in a position to create a purchase order. Fine. Go no go to the base bank. No. I will not go to the home icon. I will not go to the procurement. And then I will not go to the purchase orders. Go to the procurement. I will not go to the purchase orders. Let us now create a new purchase order for us. For which what happens? He must be a procurement agent. We already made him as a procurement agent. No problem at all. Fine. Click on it. And then click on the create order. So now what happens? You can very well create an order. So since he is a procurement agent for this business unit, it will be coming at us. It will be coming. Procurement. If he is now a procurement agent for multiple BU, they will not come as a list of values over here. And then the requisitioning BU is also coming. The type of the purchase order. Fine. Supplier is what? P01. I will now put supplier 3 now. Fine. Supplier 3. The remaining suppliers are part. Fine. We are not completed it. So they are not coming in the list of values. Fine. Fine. The supplier site will be coming. The contact will be coming. The location is coming. US dollar. Yeah, the buyer is also the same thing. Click on it. Now creating it. So before we create it, what you get to do is we have to set up what? Uh, what happens? You go there. I will know. What happens? Before we create it, we have to set up your uh, what's called your receiving options actually. Receiving parameter has to be set for this all. I have not set it now. So what happens? If not, not set, what happens? It will be throwing in a direction. I will show you the error also. So we have to set up the receiving options also. So now we are creating a purchase order. So the purchase orders are going to begin at the 3000 number. Fine. We are given the document numbering at 2000. Sorry. 2000 number is not coming. Click on it. Then go there. Click on it. Everything is coming. And then I will now click on plus and then I will now add the item. So let us now add the second item, which is an asset item actually. Fine. Click on it. I will now add an asset item. So click on plus and then we'll now add an asset item. So click on plus and then I will add the second item, which is an asset item actually. 
Because item is what? P0102. So, P attack. So, we are now adding an asset item actually. The asset item is now getting added. So, no go button component is now controlled. So, it's now coming, coming, coming. Description, everything. I'm going to say 10 components. 10 components. Okay. Now, what happens if you go there and then what happens? You go there, click on it. And then you will not see what happens. If you give a save, it will not throw an error. Now, right? The what happens? The charge account, the uh, uh, the variance account, and then the accrual account are required actually. But accrual account is not given. As well as what happens, we are not given the what's called the what's called the scheduled. What happens? The scheduled. What happens? We are not given the date on which is required now. And there is also not given. And then the receipt routing is also not given. So there are three errors are there. The schedule, no date has been given. The receipt routing is also not done. We will not give a save. Now. Upon saving itself, what happens? You will not get all the errors actually. So click on save. You will not find all the errors on this one. So all the errors will now pop up one by one. Right? So the only the accrual account error is coming from that. So we are going to set up the accrual account. Right? Now. Right, I'm going to set up the accrual account. Now go there. I will not go to the place. We are not going to set up the accrual account. You go to the manufacturing and mapping set. Fine, go there. I will not go to the manage mapping set. Now go to the manage percentage point. Map percentage point. Set percentage. You go to the manage mapping set. Fine, go there. I will not go use the cost accounting. Cost accounting mapping set is now. Fine, go there. So it's go for it. I will click on it. I will not use the accrual now. Fine, go there. Accrual account organization. <clears throat> Accrual account, we are going to go now. Fine, go, on. go to the accrual account organization. Fine, go there, click on it. I will not go there, click on it. I will not add my what happens, the chart of accounts. Fine, click on plus. No, fine, go there. So click on it. And then I will say P0. And then entry. No, fine, go there. So I am not choosing my chart of accounts. Fine, click on it. And then go down on this. No, fine. Right line. Go there. And then click on plus. No, fine. Click on plus. And then I am going to give an accrual. So, go there. so the inventory organization is what? The P011. Remember, capital P. And then it's what? 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1001. Accrual is a liability account, remember. So we have got this many accounts over there. Now, click on it. So we had to choose what a liability account. So now I'm not going to have an asset accrual as 1001, and then I will have what expense accrual as 1012 actually. So we now set up all these accounts. Now, right? So we are now using the asset accrual as 1001. The expense accrual will be 1012. I'm going to set up. So now setting the asset accrual. Asset accrual is now set. So click on it, and then click on save and close by which what happened? The account is set now. And then again, go there and then have a look at it. Now, fine. Sometimes what happens, it won't be coming properly. Fine, go there. I will not click on it. P01 and then entry. Now, fine. You're not going to query on this. Now, fine. Click on it. In the bottom, what happens, you just make a check. It's very correct. So the accrual account is now set. Now, fine. Click on save and close. If you're not save and close, you give a cancel. So this time, what happens, we are now come only for viewing it. So at the time, don't give a save or save and close. The software logic says give a cancel and then come out of it. Whenever you're going for viewing of it. Whenever you're making a change, you give a save and save and close. Otherwise, what happens, always give a cancel and then come out of it. Now you go to the place, fine. Go there. Now what happens? You go there. I will not go to the distributions area. Fine. Click on the distributions area. Fine. Distributions. Select it, then click on edit. Now click on edit. In the distributions, I'm editing it. Now. Click on edit. So we are editing the distribution. Fine. Go there. So we have a charge account. We have the accrual variance account. The accrual account will not build it. So once when you build it, the accrual account will become it. So go to actions and then go to rebuild the accounts. Actions rebuild the accounts. Now what happens? You cannot see the accrual account is coming. So the accrual account is coming. So that. So click on OK. So come to the main page and then give a save. Right click on save. Now what happens? You give a validate. Now click on validate. So go to actions and go to validate. So now what happens? It will not say that the the date is not given. Right? The need pay date or the requested date is not given. So that will not throw an error actually. Yeah. If you validate it, what happens? It will not show those errors. You must enter a requested date or a promised date. One of the date is a mandatory one. Right click on it. So go there. Come on. Go down now. Click on it. So we have to give it now. Right click on it. I will not go to the schedules and then what happens? You give a date. <laughs> So go that on. I will not say I want it today itself. Fine, go that on. Read it. So give a save now. Now what happens if you go there and then see on that what happens? It displays now. If I click on this. Go there. You're not given the dates. I will not go to the schedules and then click on edit now. If I click on edit. <clears throat> now what happens? The receipt routing has to come. Go there. So uh, here what happens? You go there. So sub inventory request. Everything is coming. Fine, go down. And then the receipt routing is coming as standard result. But what happens? Uh, it is not picking up from supplier side or somewhere else. Something like that. Otherwise, what you have to do is you go there. I will not click on done now. Fine, click on that. And then we have to give this now. Fine, click on it. Go there. So go to the click on search now. Fine, click on it. And then go to the manage receiving parameter. Manage percentage fine receiving parameter. Mm -hmm. If the supplier is not having the result loading, it will not pick up from this place. Is the very least level of defaulting onto the P01. Fine, click on this. The P011. Fine, go there. So click on OK now. Fine, click on OK. I'm giving it. So go there. So here, what happens? We have to give it now. Mm -hmm. So now say what? None. And then over oh, the action is what? None. Result loading is going to be standard. I don't know from where it is picking up. Fine. Item is the top priority. Supplier is the next priority, least priority, intermediate priority, and then the receiving parameter is the least priority. Actually, I will not go there. So I will not see the P zero one one organization is also there. Fine, that's not. And then go to the uh, is automatic, and then type is going to be numeric, and then I will not give a, a zip number as that one thousand one. And then for the RMA, 
my until then what happens i will not say it is going to be a standard other thing that is okay and that no these things we will not see during uh, the receiving lecture okay on second close receiving will not see so this has to be given now fine before you start the document but fortunately what happens is not getting a picked up from somewhere else so that is not throwing another error so click on it fine click on it. okay and now since the asset item is not transacted into an asset sub inventory so it is not asset sub inventory we are not specified any sub inventory at all so go there and then if you go there and then go to the lines area and go to the lines area and then have a look at it now click on it and then you can see the charge account now click on now have a look at the charge account now go to the schedule fine so go to the have a look at it and click on the charge account you go down now click on it go down and then here whatever you go there and then uh, 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 the schedules, I go to the distribution system, I go to the distributions, and then have a look at the chart. It is 1010. Zero, one, zero. So, since we are not given a sub inventory, what happens? It is not picking up at the org level, actually. It is not picking up at the org level. So, had you given the sub inventory, we will not put an asset sub inventory, it will not become 1009. Interesting. Go there. So, go there, click on it now. So, it is not coming as 1010. Click on it. We will not see you there. The sub inventory, I am going to put now. Click on it. I will not see asset sub inventory. Go there. And then click on OK. So, click on OK and then save now. I click on OK and then save. Then click on save now. And then go there, and then again have a look at now. Click on save. Now, what happens? It will not become 1009. No? And then click on edit. It will become already 1009. So give a cancel. So, depending upon what happens, there are three options are there. If a sub inventory is specified on the purchase order, based upon which what happens, the charge account is a very paramount important that will be coming also. So, we already seen now what happens. If an asset item is getting transacted in the asset sub inventory, the account will be 1009. And then if the asset item is transacted, the expense sub inventory will be 1004. And then if no sub inventory is specified on the request in the purchase order, it will not pick up 1010. So now we will now go for the expense sub inventory. Expense item. Right? Click on, now go there. So click on plus and then add, go to the lines and then click on plus. Go to the item. Go to the lines. Right? Click on lines. And then what happens? You go to the lines area. Go to the lines area. For the lines area only we can add, remember. Right? Click on plus. We will not put the expense item over here. Right? Click on it. I don't go there. Is that P01? 03 is the one. I know that not. I am not putting the expense item. No go for 20 quantities. So I will now go to the schedules and then here what happens? I will not put the date. No. Click on it. Date is a very important one. Click on it. I will not say when I need it. So either the requested date, either requested date by the requester, the promised date is the date given by the supplier actually. Click on it. One of the date is a mandatory. Click on it. Even though there is no uh, hard and fast rule that what happens, it has to be supplied on this, it is only for information purpose. So click on save. So it's not a rule actually. It is a what is called a, it's called a loosely coupled rule actually. In a loosely coupled rule, nothing is enforced actually. We can only say, die, you have to supply on 28. If you are supplying on 30, why oh, you are delayed? <clears throat> right. So uh, it is a what's called a loosely coupled rule. Right. It's not an enforced rule actually. No, 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 no. So no, second step is not, so you'll not go to the distribution and have a look at it. It's an expense item and asset supplementary. So for an expense item to asset supplementary, the charge account is going to be 1004. Right? So 1006, because you're not given any sub inventory at all, it will be 1006 actually. If you go to the distribution, we can now see that it will be 1006 actually. So 1006 system. Now you will now make a service purchase now. Right? Click on it. Now go there. I will now go to the line area. Fine. We'll now make a service purchase now. So go there. Click on it. So in the employee's expense account, what happens? What you're given is what? Uh, we are given 1007. Whereas in requisition, we can very well override it to the user preferences. Whereas this is not possible in the purchase order, actually. In the purchase order, we cannot override it. So the employee's expense account will become the charge account, actually. So click on plus now, click on plus. And then the employee's expense account will be coming as a charge. So in some goods, what happens? I will now go there and then make it as what? Uh, fixed price and services. So it is a service one now, fine. The service ones cannot be received in the inventory now, fine. I will not say it's a ninth hour dams. Don't show it to wife, she will not shout on you. <laughs> so let us say AMC contract or otherwise cable lying and then something other you can give. Right? It's, a, it's a service purchase actually. So it's what miscellaneous now. I will not put a category, it's an important one for a service purchase actually. I will not say the price, let us say thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. One dollar, what I'll do. So for a service purchase, what happens? You can now say if you say who is the requester, the requester's charge account will be coming here automatically. The requester's charge account. Now the purchase officer is making it. So he's not going to put a request. He will not go to what? He will not go there and then specify the request number. He's not going to put the request. You know, say EMP1, comma, P01. P01. It's not coming. Fine. Now it's not coming first name, comma, last name. P01. You know, see. So it's not coming as a first name, comma. So he is the requester actually. So this requester's charge account will now become fine. In reality, what happens is EMP3 may be creating a purchase order. And then EMP1 is now requesting the service actually. So, so give a save now. I click on save. You're not saving it actually. 
So click on it. It will not go on and save it. <clears throat> so we are saving it now. It will not throw an error that what happens. The accrual account is not there at all. We are now given the asset accrual. Now, in this place, what happens? We are now given the asset accrual and go to the top. So 1001 is for asset accrual. And then for service purchases, we have to give the expense accrual. So expense accrual has to do that. So then only what happens? It will be coming over now. Accrual account is not there. Fact account is not there. That error is coming. So now we'll not see the charge account on this. Now, click on it. We'll now go to the what? We'll now uh, what go there. We'll now have a, go to the distribution and have a look at the charge account for the third line. Now. So, go there. so now what happens is 1007. So we have already set up the charge account of this. Now, fine. This is editable actually. Whereas these two charge accounts cannot be edited. Draw. We cannot edit this. Fine. So whenever you're transacting this, now, fine. whenever you're transacting on these six actually, whenever you're transacting on this, what happens? We cannot edit anything at all. Only for service purchases. Uh, it will not default from the employee's uh, whatever the requester's charge account will be coming as a charge account. Whereas, what happens? Uh, this is not possible in the purchase order. It's possible only in a what happens, requisition actually. So, that is getting reported. The defaulted one can be changed. But for expense purchases, the accrual is a must actually. I will not go to the third uh, and click on edit now. I click on edit. So, the expense accrual has to be set actually. Then only what happens? The account will be coming. You can see the charge account is coming. That gets defaulted to the variance also. And then the accrual is not coming. So we have to set up the expense accrual now. Thank you. Now go to the placement and order. And then whatever they click on done now. And now we're going to set up the expense accrual. Now go there. So we are going to set up the accrual accrual. So we'll now go there. Drop down. It is not manufacturing and supply chain. But we will now go to the purchasing now. We'll now go there. Go to the procurement now. Go to the procurement. Now this time we have to go to the procurement. So now we are going to set up the expense accrual of procurement. Fine. Go there. Go to the placement. The management map. Possibly fine. Set plus set. So manage mapping set is the one fine for that. I will not choose what the procurement accounting of and procurement transaction account. Thank you on the manage mapping set the procurement transaction. Procurement transaction account. Go there. So go there. So the manage mapping set is not having a scope, remember. Only for the cost management, or we are going for manufacturing and supply chain management and mapping set, that will be having a scope. Whereas for the purchasing, what happens? We are going for the procurement. There is no scope at all. Fine. Click on the manage mapping set. There is no scope at all. Fine. Click on it. And then go there. Now what happens? You know, see the expense accrual account of the business level. This is the first one. So we are going to split up the expense accrual with the, the business unit level. Fine. This expense accrual the business unit level, fine, not on the what happens, inventory or so previously we are now setting up everything on the inventory or now. All these things are set up at the inventory or now. Fine. Inventory or and subunit is whereas the expense accrual is at the business unit level. Remember, the expense accrual is at the business unit level. Fine. Go there, I set up. So click on it now. Fine. Expense accrual account, the business unit level. I'm going to set up. I'm going to I'll now go there. Click on plus now. Fine. Click on plus. And then here, what happens? You go there. Click on it. I'll go there. The P0 and then entry now. P01 and then go down now. Find corner in this place. What happens? Click on plus. <clears throat> so 1012, I'm going to set up now. So the sold to be you know, is a P01 at the business unit. I will now see how the business unit is there. I have forgotten it. I will go there. So the legal is coming. That's the business unit name here. I think P010, I think I have given as what if I cancel. So P01 space business space unit now. Fine. That is the way I have written it actually. So we have to write it exactly on the software. Click on it. So go there. So P01, fine. B U S I M E S S business unit. There is no validation at all because it doesn't have any list of values actually. That's the biggest problem. If you make a mistake, it will not come at all properly. So 10 iPhone, 10 iPhone. 1012. This is the accrual. Fine. It is a liability account. And then this is going to be set as an expense accrual now. At the business unit level, it's going to be common for everything. Now, click on common for all the inventory or now. Click on save and close. Cannot give Go there, click on it. And then you go there, you go to the edit document, and then here, what does you go there? And then I go to the distribution, and then what happens? You go there, ninth or dance fine. Go there. So click on edit now. And then they edit what happens? You cannot see the accrual account of the comment. Let us now rebuild it. The one one zero one two will be coming over now. Fine, click on it. Go to actions and then go to rebuild. So once when you rebuild it, what happens? For expense purchases, now what happens? For a service purchase or expense purchase, we will say this is the one. Fine. So the charge account is the employee's expense account. That will be a charge account that we have seen already. Fine. The last thing. Fine. Go there. Now, what happens? The expense is at the common level, the BU level, not at the inventory or level at all. So that's it. Fine. Go there. So as far as accounting is concerned, we are done it. Fine. So and then we will now see one more type of purchases. Fine. Go there. Click on it. The one more thing. Fine. Go there. So we are now seeing the asset purchases. Oh, you know, fine. Asset into asset, asset into expense, expense into asset, and all these things are seen. So now, if the destination is going to be expense. Or the inventory, we are now seeing all the four, fine, all the four, fine, and then service purchase also. Similarly, on the expense also, we are going to see all the four, fine, and the service purchase also. Everything is possible, fine. The expense purchases are like that. What happens? These are all company premises, and then what happens? I am now going to have what the hospital supplies, fine. I am now having Ames Hospital, which is now what happens? We have to supply what hand gloves. The hand gloves, and then the needles are getting getting manufactured in Bombay, 
So I am in, uh, let us say, uh, what's called, I'm in Nagpur actually. So go there. I will now order it on Nagpur. My Nagpur. I will now order it on Bombay supplier actually. So Bombay supplier, now we're going to place an order. And then I will ask him to straight away supply to what the expense destination of what Ames Hospital in Delhi actually. So we can ask him directly to supply to the Ames Hospital in Delhi. So by which what happens? The expense purchases are getting completed actually. Fine, what is hospital supplies are not coming. Fine, expense purchases are coming. So this way we can very well do it now, fine, by which it will be going over there directly. So the expense destination for for external destinations will be. So here also what happens? All the four are possible. Fine, all the four are possible. Plus your service purchases are also possible for expense destination. So we'll be seeing it a bit later. Actually. So now we have seen everything. Now fine, what? what and then we are now going to set up the approvals actually. So all these things are done. Thank you. Connor. So click on save now. Fine. We will not set up the approvals. So we will not set up the approvals. Click on the now. We will not, first of all, make it as automatic. So all the six methods of approval. Automatic approval, the individual approval, and then what happens? Uh, uh, automatic approval, the individual approval, and then worker approval, <coughs> the individual worker approval, and then approval groups, and then uh, job level approvals, the supervisor level approvals, and then the position level approvals. Whatever you have seen on the requisition, all the six are applicable here also. So now what I do is I will now set up simply with what automatic approval. Fine, click on search, no, fine, click on search. And then I will now go, I will now go to what? Manage percentage, fine. Document percentage, fine. APP percentage. Manage document approval. So manage purchase document approval, fine, click on no, no, no. And then here, what this is enabled. I will now disable it, no, fine, click on disable. And then I will now have a habit of what? Only the third one, no, fine, nobody normally goes there, no, fine, click on enable now. The terms of approval, three, three, fine, click on I will now click on edit code. And then I will now set it up to automatic. Click on this. So always give a meaningful name on the rule now, click on it. And then I will not have any conditions for this number, click on it, paste it. And then rule always applies the one click on again. Okay. And then go there. I will not go to add addition, add action, and then go there. I will not say it's automatic. It's automatic. So click on okay, fine. There's an automatic approval. Fine. I will not click on save now. Click on save and then I will not deploy. So click on deploy. You know, deploy. So once when it's deployed, what happens? It will not show that what happens that nobody is there to approve. Fine. The application developer only has to approve. No, click on it. Fine. No, no. I will not go there. So you go to the edit documents and then here, what you go there. I will not, what happens? You go to, what happens? Uh, we are going to submit it. No, click on it. You know, go to the manage approvals. Right? Click on save and then click on manage approvals. It will not say the application developer has to approve it. So the application developer has to approve. And then what no say. So the application developer is the person who has to approve this. So the application developer has to approve. So click on submit by which one of the application developer has to approve. So now the application developer has to approve. That is getting approved. Document is approved. So wait for some time and then afterwards what happens? They go there and then click on the manage orders. So click on the manage orders. There what happens? You can very well see it. So you now go there. Query for the 3000. 3000 is the one. Fine. Click on search. We are searching for it. So once only search for it, it will show that it will be pending approval and then finally it's done. This is the buyer also. We will not go on top. So click on search, now click on search. It has to show me. Oh, no, 3, 000, it's 2,000 actually, sorry. So 2,000 is the order number, fine, make a search. Click on search, it will show me. So once when it is approved, what happens, it will be coming as what? Open actually. The approval information is currently enough. Okay. So 2,000 has been submitted for approval, fine, go that's not Now done, now. click on, well, no, it will be over now. Now, what happens? Uh, let it come. Okay, it will not take some time. In the meantime, what happens? We will not go there. Go to the suppliers. We will not. What happens? You will not go there. We will not have to one more do one more thing. Now, click on it. I will not go to the setup and maintenance number. No setup and maintenance. And then here, what I will do is for a prospective supplier to be current, I spend authorized supplier. Thank click on it. No search. I will not say manage, manage, and then what happens? Approve supplier approves. Manage supplier. So go there. So here, what happens? Uh, I will not say spend authorized approval. So I will not go to the what manage supplier spend authorized approvals. So when I am converting a prospective supplier to the search spend authorized approval, this guy has to approve. Fine, click on it. Manage supplier spend authorized approvals. I will not say this one enabled. Fine, salary enabled. Fine, click on edit codes and then go there and then will not make it as what rule always supplies. Fine, go there. So it is not automatic. I will not edit to what make it as what. I will not say the approval required by individual worker actually. Fine, drop down single approver, and then I will not put the worker now. Fine, click on it. The worker, and then I will not put the employee. Fine, this is what's called EMP3. No, EMP3. Put it in. Fine, EMP3. EMP3. Yes, 
some place is lost me nam come first name sometimes is first name last name here right? unable to understand where to put what actually so whenever we are converting a prospective supplier to a spend authorized supplier emp3 is stop you can say click on that point click on that point no doubt and that we are already enabled this also fine so this is also enabled fine no doubt right so click on that and then come on up. so this is not done now <clears throat> fine right so uh uh what else is done is okay. So now what happens? We will now create a prospective supplier and then convert him into a spend author. In fact, right. no, go we'll not go there. We'll not go there. We we'll go to the supplier. In fact, on the supplier. We will now create a prospective supplier and then convert him into a spend author. So go to the create supplier. Right now, this is the fourth supplier. Right? Now say sub underscore four. No, click on it. I will not say it's a prospective, it's not a spend. In a prospective, we can only send RFQ to him and then obtain a quotation. We cannot place him on a purchase order at all. No go there, no go there, no go there. And then it's a prospective. Click on create now. Click on create. You're not creating it actually. So go there. Come on. Everything is coming for And then order, have a habit of giving a payment because later on you'll be forgetting it actually. Then make them as a default. You know, working on vision this is the best one now. And then put a tick mark. And then go there. So click on save. And remember, there is no site at all coming up in a prospective supplier. Prospective supplier will not be having a site. Click on address. You go to the address and then click on plus. So click on plus and go there. So address name is what? P04. P04. Address you want. And something I'm not going to find. Country is what? United States. United States is the one. Fine, but you want to choose it. Now click on Address line one. I will not say P04. Fine. Address line one. Fine. It doesn't make exactly. The pin code, whatever they go there, 10020, and then give a tap. I'm giving the pin code. You know what? Click on OK and click on OK. And then go there. So, ordering and remit to your name, now click on save. So, the address is now made. Now, I click on save. Please. Click on save. Please. Now, what happens? You go there. You go to the contacts. We can even create a contact also. I click on plus now. I'll create a contact. So, click on plus now. So, what happens? I'm going to say Ananta 4, Nana 4. And I'll say any contact number on it. And I'll say e4 <clears throat> and dot n4 at the rate gmail.com. Go there and then what I'm saying, go to the actions and go to select an act. You're going to add it. Now, address is not available because it is not at approved actually. So, what happens, go there. It will be submitting for approval. Fine, go there. So, once when you submit for approval, then only whatever the contact can be added actually. So, click on save now. It will be approved by EMP2 now. So, go there, click on it. And then we submit it and click on the click on save and close. So the prospective supplier, the address has to be approved now. So either is a prospective supplier or whatever the spend authorized supplier, both of them the address has to be approved because we are given an address what was approval now. Click on submit now. It will be submitted for approval now. So P01, fine. The it contains changes that requires approval actually. Now what happens? You go there and then we will now go to this place and click on it. And now click on refresh now. We'll now see the sub four will be having a pending approval at the bottom now. Click on it. The support is having. If you click on the request number, I click on the request number, and then go there. So you click on submit. It now gone to EMP2 now. So click on whatever. It now take some time now actually. In the meantime, whatever they now go there and then we'll now go to the EMP2's login now. I click on it. We'll now log out. So go there. We'll now log out and log in, and then we'll now see the approvals now. I click on the submit. So click on confirm, and then we're going to have a look. So click on EMP2 and then you'll be having a bell icon information that what happens, the sub four has to be approved. Fine, click on it. No, click on it. You know have it. Right. Su su supplier profile change request profile supplier four. No. I will now click on approve here itself. Fine, click on it. No getting approved. So once when it is approved, it will be coming back to what happens, the EMP1. No, fine. I will now go to the EMP1's login. Fine. I will now what happens, I click on refresh. Click on refresh. And then refreshing it. Fine, go to the the bottom, what happens, if you click on the hyperlink of it, you'll now see what happens, it will also vanish also. So if you click on the submit, what happens? The approval message is coming. So you know the green tick mark is coming. So after if you refresh it again, what happens? It will not vanish. Now click on that. If you refresh it, it will not vanish. Right? The line will not still now will not be there. Now click on it. You go there. The line will not vanish. This will not vanish if you refresh it. If you refresh it. What happens? The pending supplier approval will be vanishing. Now click on the pending supplier approval will be vanishing. It will not go on. Now click on. I will not go to the manage approvals, manage suppliers, and then query for the fourth supplier actually. Now click on the manage suppliers, and then I will not query the fourth supplier. I will say it's a P01 fine entry. I'll go there. Come on. I'll go there. So, you know, supply four. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of the supply four. It's a prospective supply, remember. It's a prospective supply. Go there. So, go to the address. And then here, go there. The address is coming. Fine. Go to the contacts. Now, click on the contacts. I'll bring it to the edit mode. 
first of all, we'll bring it to the edit point. So bring it to the edit point. No. So go there. So click on the contacts and that will now add the address to it now. Now the address is approved. Now fine, go to the actions and then go to select that. So we will now find one address available. Find select it and then click on apply and then click on okay by which whatever the address is now getting added. Now I click on it and then go there. Save and close by which whatever the the prospective supplier creation is now complete action. So go there. So click on submit by which whatever the the prospective supplier is now complete. In that there is not going for approval. If you are having a bank account approval, then it will also go for the bank approval. Thank you, thank you. Now we have to convert this prospective to spend authorization. So after some time, what happens? This guy can be placed on a what happens? This thing can be placed on a what's called on a purchase order. So click on the manage suppliers. Click on the manage suppliers. I'll not query on the P01. Thank you. Click on P01. Thank you. Click on search now. Click on and then here what happens? You'll click on the hyperlink of it. Click on the hyperlink of it. So promote to spend authorized is coming. So once when you promote to spend authorized, then EMP3 has to approve. So once when you promote it, the site also will be coming. The site will be coming. If I click on the promote spend authorized, you are not going to have it. If I click on it. So he is suitable for placing PO. Right? Like that, you give a command, I click on something. So procurement BU is what? You select it and then do it now. Right? So sites are BU specific actually. If I click on it and then click on something. So it will now go to EMP3 for approval. Right? Click on something. It will be going to EMP3 for approval. <laughs> so give a justification on promotion by your request has been submitted. Fact to comment. Fact to comment. Six thousand other reference. Fact to comment. No. So, no. so what is now pending approval? If you click on the pending approval, fine. Go that. pending approval. You cannot edit the supply because it's not under under approval action. So see. You go that. Comment. And then you now see that what happens in the bottom. If you click on the submit, what happens? It will go to EMP three for approval action. Ah, not coming. Action is not available. It's not available. It's okay. Now what happens? We'll now go there and then we'll now log out as EMP three. Fine. Click on it. We'll now sign out and then sign in as EMP three now. EMP2 is for address approval and then EMP3 is for spend authorization approval. So EMP3, fine, click on signing now. You know, signing in for spend authorization approval. So we can even promote some other. I will now click on the whatever the icon of I click on it. So our attribution of operating is not coming. Taking long time. Two days before, you know, dismiss everything. Dismiss everything. Whether you are given correctly or not, I am not very sure, but it finds <laughs> some mistake may also be there. click on it. It has to come on top. Tax two days ago. So two days ago, what happened? I'm dismissing it actually. I'm dismissing it, dismissing it. Go there. Click on it. Dismiss and then dismiss it. Everything is there actually. I click on it. Now request to approve supplier for spend authorization is not going. So now your spend authorization approval request has come fine. Go there. So the first approval is for what? Your address approval. Now what happens from promo from uh, Spend all, from a prospective to spend authorized and approval is compacted on. Now he will be or he will be getting a site also on this one. So once it is approved, what happens? They go there. The approval is going fine. Now go to the space, click on it. I will now go there. Click on done now, fine. Come on up it and then requery it actually. So it's a pending approval. If you click on the pending approval, you can now see that there's a tick mark in the bottom. Now. Click on it. And then click on the submit now, you know, so there's a tick mark in it. So he has already approved on something. You will now find a tick mark in the bottom. Fine. You know, and the Task is also completed. EMP3 has uploaded the task is completed. Click on okay, now. Everything is on. I'll go there, click on it. So click on done. <clears throat> and then what happens? You require it. You cannot edit the supply record because the spend authorization request is pending approval. Fine. It's saying click on now. It's okay. You've done it. Fine. And then what happens? You make a search again. Now fine. click on search. And now what happens? You'll now see a site is now getting added. Now fine. click on it. Now go there, click on it. The site gets added upon. So now you can see a site is also added. So bring it to edit mode. And then go to the site. Go to the site. So go there. We have to make the site assignments actually. Fine, go there, edit now. Click on it. You now see what happens. Click on edit and go there. And go to the site assignments. Fine, click on the site assignments. So once when you're completing it, it is also putting the what happens, the site assignments also. Here, what happens? You go there and then fill up the information. So that when you make a purchase order, these things will now default onto this now. P01 and then go there. <clears throat> click on it. Fine. Now it's complete. Now, fine, click on it. Save and close by which what happens. The spend authorized supplier is now complete in all respects actually. And then in the meantime, what happens? You go there. You are not given a pending approval. Fine, if you make a search, it will be open actually. Right click on search. The purchase order will be open. So this completes the supplier creation, the spend authorized the supplier creation, the prospective supplier creation, conversion of a prospective into spend authorized, and then what happens? Approvals for the addresses, and then setting up the charge account for your asset as well as your expense. Fine, for the service purchases basically. Fine. So many things are done. So we are now fully set on what happens? The creating a purchase order. So on Monday, we are going to begin by creating what? Yeah, CPA actually, contract purchase agreement. Fine. We are going to begin our CPA. Okay, okay, okay.
Great, no fine. So you understood it. Can you open? Yeah, sir, we understood. Very good, fine. Yeah, I'm going fast. This is okay for you. Are you able to understand it? <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to practice everything. Then only you will be hard now. Sorry. So we'll now meet at 3 p.m. on Monday. Then we'll now go hard on this. Okay, bye for now. Okay, sir. Bye. 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 B